So who else is excited for ReZero Season 2? Season 1 was great, but there's always this sense that it was just the beginning. And with the trailer, it feels like we're finally getting that first sense of the true story of ReZero. And it's going to be such a great ride. Now, I have not read Arc 4 or anything beyond that, but I did end up reading the Arc 3 interludes a year or two ago, so this video will spoil that part of Season 2, which is probably like the first episode. I'll put a link in the description if you want to read those. And also, please no Arc 4 spoilers in the comments. I really want to avoid those as best as I can. And yes, I will be speculating here, but please don't tell me anything specific about me being wrong or right. Just laugh at me not knowing stuff. But yeah, the trailer itself. Starts off with Subaru searching for something. And then he is taken somewhere by Echi Donut. Or Echi Donut, if you prefer my friend's pronunciation. And I ended up having to find a different translation, so I actually knew what she was saying. And when I did, I saw that she is the Witch of Greed. Which raises a ton of questions about witches. Like, so far, we have the Witch of Envy. We kind of know a little bit, sort of, about them. But this implies that there are witches of all the sins. And it makes me wonder, is the reason that she pulled Subaru here the same reason the Witch of Envy was able to pull Subaru from Earth? Actually, now that I think about it, what if that wasn't the Witch of Envy that did that? Like, we know that he has the scent of the Witch of Envy on him when he, like, tries to tell people about his return by death. But what if that's actually not the Witch of Envy? It's the Witch's scent, yes. But could it be Echidona's scent? Or Echidona? I don't know. And it could be that the other characters don't know the difference. So they smell like Ram smells the witch. She automatically assumes it's the Witch of Envy. But maybe that's not it. And that would explain how, if the Witch of Envy is sleeping all this time, how she also pulled Subaru to this world. We could be onto something here. Though, of course, this is all speculation. But something that does stand out here is that we now see that the witches are not the same things as the Sin Archbishops, which is something that I wasn't really sure. Like, I reread the uh, web novel for Interlude 3 to try to see, like, who was who and all that, which does make sense because Echidona is not insane so far. So that will, and plus we also don't know if there's a connection between like the Sin Archbishop of something and the uh, Witch of that thing. And we also don't know, is there a Sin Archbishop of Envy? In the web novel, they had mentioned like the other five, but it seems like there is not one of Envy because there's not the Witch. So I'm definitely confused. There are lots of questions and maybe this will make sense eventually. I've also gone completely off my script here, so let me figure out where I am and so I don't miss anything. I guess. One big question, though, is what are the witches after? Like, are they trying to revive the Witch of Envy like the Sin Archbishops? Do they plan something else? Is Echidona working against the Archbishops in the Witch of Envy? We don't know. And assuming there's a witch for every um, sin of the Seven Deadly Sins, where are the other five? Have we met any of the other five? These are definitely questions to get into. But either way, one of the things I love about ReZero is just how big the story is. We see these events, these characters, these stories unfold in front of us, but it's also a very small piece of the overall story. Like, we're in Arc 3, and I heard that they want to make 12 arcs, and, like, Arcs 1 through 3 are like a prologue to Arc 4, which will be Season 2. So there's a lot that's going to happen here. Anyway... The next part of the trailer is Subaru getting the news that Ram had been hurt and rushing to them. Or, to be more specifically, that Amelia does not know who Ram is. Yeah, I love that whole who's Ram. Okay, story time. I hope my brother doesn't see this. But I've been watching ReZero Season 1 with him. I'd seen it before. He had had it. I had read the interludes. He had not, obviously. And so we got to uh, episode, the episode where Rem was wiped out. 18, I think it was. And we were talking about him, like, how Who's Rem is such a meme. It's like, it makes no sense out of context. But even if you think you know the context, you don't. And that's brilliant. Maybe I don't even know the context. Maybe there's something else down the road that Who's Rem also means that we'll find out about later. That would be kind of cool. But yes, you know if you've read the interludes that when Subaru is rushing off, it is because uh, the Archbishops of Greed and Gluttony attacked them, Rem tried to fight them, but sadly failed, and had her name and memory taken. 
And this was really cool to see in the trailer since this is one of the first times I've watched something on screen as an anime after I had read the source material for it. I think the only other time that's happened was Astro Lost in Space because I read it like the first couple chapters long before the anime came out. Great show, by the way. And what I liked about the scene is, yes, Rem is defeated here, but it really let her shine, let her do cool things. She's going all out with the demon powers and her morning star and her ice magic and all that. And that was really cool. Plus, I loved seeing how unhinged Gluttony is. And it will be even more so when he, you can actually hear the dialogue there. It's interesting, like, I had never seen what Gluttony looked like before. I don't know if it was in any of the official material, but he, like, looks exactly how a character like that should look, which was really good. In the music for the trailer, the opening was also so great. It's like filled with power, determination, all that, but also a somberness. And that really fits Subaru here. He really wants to save Rem, but he has no idea what he is getting into. He is trying to do the impossible, and you can tell he's been broken by losing Rem and not being able to go back and save her, even though he would give anything for that chance. So yeah, this is going to be a great season. They also have a few other characters show up at the end of the trailer, and I don't know who they are, but I'm sure I will like them as well, because I like everyone else from ReZero. So yeah, I was excited for ReZero Season 2 before the trailer, but seeing this makes me even more excited. I've watched some of these parts of this time and time and time again because it's so great to see, and not just because I need to make a video on it, or want to make a video on it, whatever. So it'll be great. I'm excited to see Subaru try to restore Ram, see Krush deal with losing her memories. Plus, there's that whole royal selection thing with this basically throwing all that into chaos with Krush losing her memories. Though, we'll see if that does get out. I know in the interlude they were saying to keep that secret, but something tells me they won't be able to keep a secret for that long. And then you have the conflict with the witches, the other St. Archbishops, whatever they are after. And like so many things we don't know. Like, what's the deal with Puck, or Roswell, or Beatrice, and so many other things? In what crazy ways will Subaru suffer this time? Something tells me we're going to end Season 2 with more questions than answers, but I'm okay with that. That's the fun of ReZero, getting the questions, getting a couple answers, getting even more questions, repeat time and time again, and then wait four years for Season 2. I hope the wait for Season 3 won't be that long. And I also really hope that the creator of the light novel or the web novel, will actually be able to finish it. Like, he has not posted a new chapter for, like, all of this year, except for, like, a April Fool's Day one. Which, yeah, I know he's been working on the anime, helping with that. But I, I'm kind of worried that he will, like, get pulled away and never finish it. It's like Hunter Hunter. I really want to get into the anime for that, and yes, I've heard the anime ends fine. But it's really disheartening to know that the manga is in a place where it may never finish. So I hope ReZero won't be that way. So yes, thank you for stopping by and watching. I really love ReZero, and I want to do more content on it, both on Season 1 and Season 2 as it starts coming out. I don't know exactly how I will cover it, but let me know if you have ideas. I'd like to talk more about this. So yes, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.